Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this AutoCAD 2016 training course and the topic for today will be the diesel macro language. Um, this language, the diesel, is one of many macro languages that uh, AutoCAD supports and you can use it to perform simple operations and uh, uh, add some automation to your menus or to other operations but especially the menus. Uh, as with AutoLisp, parentheses are uh, use it to enclose program code. Um, this is a very wide topic and uh, I will show you only two or three examples. But uh, if you need, I can, uh, I can send uh, to, to the ones that contact us uh, a small file with some uh, deeper information about this diesel macro language. So, um, we can use this in several uh, ways. Uh, I will show you simply a couple of examples uh, using it uh, in, in, in the command line. This area here will show uh, the result of the actions I'm doing. The first step to use this language is to call this in our command line mode macro macro and then uh, with the mode macro we need to uh, write down uh, an expression and uh, this can start with the, the dollar sign uh, the parentheses and now this is the operator uh, it's a division and I will split the arguments one so uh, 25 divided by 2 close the parentheses enter and 12.5 is the result of this operation. This is one example. Uh, we can also do something um, that uh, is to request the value of any variable that AutoCAD has. For example, the name of this drawing. So if I write down something like dollar, it's always the dollar first, and this function get var then uh, the, the comma and then you can uh, recall uh, a variable uh, there is one called dwg name closed and enter and returns the name of your drawing so there are a lot of uh, possibilities and these are uh, two quick examples of how to use it but again if you want uh, to go deeper on this and if you have interest on this, uh, send us an email or send us a message and we will send you more information about this language.